Hello everybody and welcome to another Pandas Learning by Doing. Um, we're over at the Grip Samora's uh, library and we're going to be doing another exercise today. So let's navigate there. Um, again, I'm doing this all just sort of completely off the cuff. I've not looked at these before, at least I don't think so. Uh, we're doing World Food Facts is the one this time. Uh, so we go in here and we click Exercises, which I've got up here, and I just wanted to, I made sure to just read the first couple of lines to make sure I didn't have to do anything crazy on camera. Um, so the first step is go to this uh, location, uh, Kaggle, Kaggle Open Foods Facts. I, I went over there um, and I went ahead and I already downloaded this data just so that we could uh, skip forward. Uh, and we can go ahead and check that out with an LS. And so we have this Open Food Facts TSV here. Um, so we've already downloaded the data and I've already unzipped it. Um, and so we need to go ahead and put this into a data frame called food. This is a big um, file. So import pandas as pd. Um, so it's, I, I believe it's a gigabyte. So pd.readcsv. So the nice thing about this is that it already told us that this was a tab separated file. Um, so we can go ahead and grab this, tsv. Um, it appears a little bit slow, as you can see. Uh, and then we need to go ahead and pass in the separator equals uh, backslash tab. Um, should work. df equals, let's pause that, and then let's do this one more time. Uh, this will be a little bit. Okay, look at the first five entries. That'll be easy, number of observations, number of columns. What is the name of the 105th? Oh, there's a lot of columns. Um, so it's still reading it in, being this is a gig of data. It makes a little bit of sense. Um, what is the type of observations in the 105th column? How is the data set indexed? And what is the product name of the 19th observation? Okay, so sounds good. Um, this will take a little bit to read, so I will cut to when it's uh, not done. So, oh, no, it's done. Great. Okay, well, you, we can just, let's go. Uh, so we've got data frame. Uh, let's look at the first five entries. So a head is the thing that will go ahead and give us this. One thing you note is that there's just infinite columns here. Um, so one of the things that's nice to do this, so this will go ahead and give us the top 10, so this is top five. Um, we can go ahead and take the transpose of this uh, as well, uh, which will go ahead and list the columns down here. The problem is that you still can't see the columns. Um, so another thing that you can do to make this look a little bit better is you can do PD, um, I think it's called set option or display option. It's, it's, it's during, it's during the, uh, the holiday season. So give me, give me a second as I get myself back into it. Um, so it's set the options. I think it's, uh, display dot max um, rows, uh, and then we will set this to, um, yes, display dot uh, HTML LaTeX, display dot, yep, here we go, it's display dot max rows, and we'll set this to be 200. Um, so we said to be 200 and we can see all these rows. Oh dear Lord. Um, this is a lot, of, that's a lot of information. So let's go ahead and let's see what it is. Number of observations in the data set. Um, shape is always a good thing to do. Very, very quick. So it looks like there's 300,000 with 163 rows or columns. Uh, number of columns is 163. I'll print the name of all the columns. So this is pretty easy. You can just do df.columns. Sorry, my autocomplete is just not working. Oh. Um, this won't actually give you... So the quick way to just go ahead and do this is for c and da, we can go ahead and print c. Um, this will actually print all the columns out. Um, okay. Interesting, so lots of food facts. What's the name of the 105th column? <clears throat> so again, pretty easy here. Um, so we look into the columns, this is an array. We go ahead and look for the 104, uh, just to be uh, careful. So this is 
negative glucose. I love when my when my food depletes the glucose in my body. I'm sure this is actually has a really good meaning. Uh, what is the type? Um, that's an interesting question. Uh, so if you do dot info, um, uh, well, I guess what we can do here is uh, we can grab the column name. There's probably a little bit more of an elegant solution to this, um, and then we can do dot info. Um, one thing, info probably only works on a full data frame. Uh, so this is a float, float 64. Um, I believe there's probably a dtype as well for the column, dtype, um, that we can check out as well. Yeah. Um, how is the data set index? df dot uh, index. Um, it's not really indexed in any specific way. Um, we can go up here and look at the... Uh, first column code. Um, so we, it, it didn't really go ahead and give an index. What you can always do is you can specify what the index should be up here with the read CSV, but didn't give an index. I, I presume it's uh, indexed by this thing called code, which is a code probably in this URL um, that we could check out. <clears throat> so um, we could go ahead and do df dot uh, let's let's just look at the first couple of things here. Hit code and then URL. Uh, this is just sort of the way that I would do it. Okay, so yeah, so right. So you'll notice here, and we can sort of see this a little bit more if we print out just like one or two. Um, let's let's check out here as well. Df dot set options, oh, sorry, pd dot set options. Um, there might actually be a max column width. Um, and so let's let's just make the max column width a little bit bigger. Um, and so we need uh, display uh, dot max column width. And let's make it 300 characters. Option error, let's see, no such keys, displat. Uh, max column width. Oh, yeah. Ugh. Um, let's check this out. So yeah, this did give us sort of more bigger URL. And so you'll notice here, um, this is kind of what I would do if I, if I were organizing the data frame. The code 3087 really just corresponds to this URL here so that we can actually, and it's unfortunate though that there's actually something that came after this as well. Um, but we technically could go here. Maybe this would actually give us something. Um, error. So yeah, it's it's a little funky. It's kind of what I would do, but also not 100% what I would do. Um, but yeah, so this this code sort of corresponds to something in the URL. Um, and finally, what is the product name of the 19th uh, observation? <clears throat> so df dot uh, info. Let's see what our um, which which column is product name? What's it called? I already asked us to print these things out. So there's a column called product name, which is pretty easy. Um, and because we know kind of exactly what we're looking for, we can always just do df at this column for the uh, 19th observation. Team. Uh, did I do this backwards? Uh, let's, okay. Uh, let's, oh. Uh, so this is called uh, Lotus Organic Brown Jasmine Rice. My, my favorite type of jasmine rice. Um, okay, so we went ahead and we went through this. I hope this gave you a little bit of intuition as to what like a data scientist will think going through this. Um, let's go ahead and check the solutions just to make sure that we didn't mess anything up. Um, exercises with solutions. Uh, Okay, pandas numpy, reads the CSV in, set T, great, grabs the head, shape, easy, number of columns, shape, great, number of columns, 105th column, glucose, great, D type, oh, so this is kind of interesting, food.t types, and you can actually just pass in the column name, kind of cool. You can check the index, they didn't even go too much further, um, and what is the product, oh, this is just, this is heinous here. Okay, the 
the at notation is a little bit more uh, understandable. Regardless, I hope this has been a little bit fun. Uh, this is sort of going through pants exercises, sort of the way a, a data scientist would look at them on the first pass. Um, if this has been useful, continue watching the series. I hope you guys have enjoyed it, and tune in next time. Thanks.